two. We gotta get this thing going on here. It's taking a little while. I mean, I think that... Yes, yeah, Saber Trio, and we are gonna show these on May 4th. Well, that means there'll be four of them, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do all of them. But I'm not gonna drag it out, aren't you? I'm just trying to get this started. We gotta work on it. Too long, really? I mean, I like watching videos like that. Okay, look it. Part of it is dragged out because I like to entertain people, and yeah, it's fun. People like it. Okay, R2, you need to really chill out because you're going to pop a cord here, and I'm just going to do like, I, I, hey, what, are you, what kind of talk is that? All right, all right, R2, I'll make it short. All right, come, come, come on, we got to get started. Welcome back, everybody, to another Let's Go video. This is a May 4th special, and for May 4th, I grew a mustache. <laughs> Just kidding, well, you know what? I wonder what kind of... Which Star Wars characters actually have a mustache? Hello, what have we here? I'm Lando Calrissian, I'm the administrator of this facility. One of the things I want to do today, this is my um, Saber Trio review. Last year for the Black Friday sale, I purchased about four Sabres. One of them is a ready to ship. I already did that. It was for the Saber Trio Aaron Saber, this lovely Saber right here that most of you can um, see here. So I got this saber last year, ready to ship, and they sent it to me with just, with, in just a few weeks, and I got it. it. I've been enjoying it, it's been awesome. But you know what? I've got three more, three more sabers. And um, you know, I unboxed them a little while ago, it was a lot of fun, things kind of got stretched out, and uh, sometimes that happens when you're making a YouTube video, you don't really know where you're going with it. This guy right here tends to complain a little bit about that, but um, yeah, it's got nothing to say right now, that's alright. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you these sabers. I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of the features. But I have a special mentioning here. Usually for my videos, I like to kind of share a little bit of something new besides what I'm doing. And I like, you know, I really like people, Star Wars fans, that kind of go out of their way and they have a talent that they bring to the table for all, all Star Wars fans to enjoy. Yeah, that's right. And we have Preston Bannister who is a Star Wars lightsaber font creator. We're gonna feature some of his fonts today. And Preston's shop, yeah, that's right, it's really awesome stuff. It's called Syndicate Custom Relics. Remember this name because you're gonna be enjoying some, some really cool saber fonts. Syndicate Custom Relics. We're gonna feature some of his fonts today. Um, you can go check out his Facebook. Right now he's working on his website to get that up. He's also got a YouTube channel. You can check that out to kind of listen to some of the sabers that he has, uh, saber fonts that he has available. But check it out because you know what? Actually, ever since I found out who this guy was, one of his fonts now is my favorite font out of all my lightsaber fonts. Which one that is, we will find out. So, uh, that's right, R2, don't give it up. Don't give it up. <laughs> all right, also folks, and just by the way, just so you know, I don't get paid for any of this. I'm not getting paid in any way to mention people that I think are very special in the Star Wars community or anything that I'm um, featuring of the products that I have bought. I mean, I'm not getting paid for any of it. I mean, if, if those companies want to send stuff my way, then, then that'll be awesome. Um, but look, just like this, the shirt that I'm wearing today, I got on Amazon. I was looking for a May the 4th shirt. And I thought this one was really cool. I want to show everybody. May the 4th be with you, 2021. Look at that, it's got a red, blue, and green lightsaber. Yeah, R2 likes it. He thought it was really cool. He picked it out, actually. So, um, cool stuff. You can get this on Amazon. They actually had a lot of cool stuff, and this is just the one I picked out. All right, so I want to share this with you. The lightsabers from Saber Trio are about $500 to $600. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really not for, if you're looking at all the different companies that exist out there, this is actually really a bargain. And you can, you can battle with these lightsabers, especially if you get the heavy grade blade. And um, from my experience so far, they've been the some of the most durable sabers. But on this sale, I purchased um, a Vulcan saber in the dark edition, a Sensa, and the Vectra. And the Sensa and the Vectra, I made customizations special requests. So um, that's a little bit just sharing the price. And on the customer notes, this is where you can ask for customizations to the Saber Trio crew, and they are awesome. And for the Sensa Saber, I just basically wanted a black emitter shroud instead of the silver. That was one of the customizations I asked for. Now on the Vectra, 
Um, this is where I, I really wanted to customize it. So on the Vectra lightsaber, I told them I wanted brown leather wrapping because they told me this on Facebook Messenger to take a screenshot and share that and they would give that to me for free. And then I would like the neck below the emitter weathered and a small area below the leather wrapping and above the pommel weathered as well. And I said, if you can do this for me, I would be greatly appreciated. And I threw in, um, hey, I, I, I'm purchasing this many sabers from you. So I thought it would have some weight, but now after dealing with Saber Trio, they don't really care how many sabers you're going to buy. Their customer service is excellent, even if you're just buying one saber. All customers get excellent customer service. So on the RTS sale, they had this picture of the Myra lightsaber. They had a weathered and brushed silver combination. I thought, wow, how, how awesome would that look on a Vectra if we can pull off that mirrored look with the combination of weathered look and you know through facebook messenger they kept in touch with me they said okay we're about to start on this and then they showed me another picture here's where it's at and then they showed me another picture and until i was satisfied i was totally satisfied with what i was going to get and i couldn't wait to see it completely finished so definitely a full saber rating for the customer service of saber trio So, all right, first up, um, I ordered from Saber Trio. Here is my custom Vectra. Okay, so as far as I know, nobody has this Saber right now. Now, there may you guys may order a Saber Trio Saber and make a request for that, and now and then there, there will be a, um, a lightsaber like that. But for right now, I think this is the only one. So, yeah, I, I, I like that. All right, so here it is. Boom! Look at that, folks. I kind of featured this on the last um, video towards the end. I know that one is a really long video, but this is a mirrored, weathered combination with a leather wrap. Um, so I have here, mirrored. You can see it there, mirrored in the front. It's got weathered neck. You've got the gold activation switch. You got brown leather wrap. You got a little bit more weathering here and on the pommel um, you have that mirrored as well but then I also have a brass um, cover tip uh, wheel just to hang on your your saber belt so I thought this was a really cool saber actually it's one of my favorites right now it's second to my favorite right now um, maybe maybe not even second maybe it's just tied it's just a different type of I like it the same for number one right um, so it's a really cool saber and you know a lot of times I just like to let people look at it in my videos because when I'm looking to purchase something I just kind of stare at it over and over again till I can really make that decision so this is a Vectra um, custom request made and this is what it turned out like and it is beautiful all right you know what time it is it's time to go to we're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed <gasps> So here it is, and um, this is the ancient integration. Sound bank selection. Ancient integration. Ancient integration. That's right. My ally is the force. Here it goes. So I don't know if you can see this. But it's kind of got like this yellow and green flame, which is really cool. It's really neat looking on this. Unfortunately, my office is not that big. You can kind of see the flickering effect.
Cool stuff, right? So I got the Saber Trio heavy grade blade with this, so you can duel. It's pretty, pretty sturdy compared to other blades that I have. Um, you know, I always thought it'd be kind of funny. You know, someone breaking into your house and you have this by your bed. You know, and you're like, hey, it's really dark, and all of a sudden someone just goes, and you're ready to knock someone out. Bam! <laughs> And by the way, as I was changing the blade, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you up close the blade plug. So before I put it back in, here's the blade plug. This is the brass with the silver. All right, so you just put that back. Makes a little sound. Tighten this up here with the little key. And there you go. So a pretty cool blade plug. And the Vector just has some awesome, awesome windows in the emitter. Alright, so that's one font from Syndicate Custom Relics. Let's go ahead and go to the next Saber. Alright, the next Saber up here by Saber Trio is the Vulcan. So I ordered this Saber in the Dark Edition and the reason why I did that is it just looked menacing by itself already. It seems like it'd be some sort of... Um, like a club, like someone just gonna go BAM right over the head, right? And so it had a unique design. I, I, from the pictures, I thought it was the best one as far as the, um, it just looked menacing to me. So let's take a look at this. All right, so right there, it's just all black. Right here, what you can see, it's all black with just a red activation switch. There it is, and I have the Dark Edition Brass Blade Plug. So the sound font I currently have right now is the one that's Kylo Ren's, and I forgot actually what they call it. Um, gosh, I can't remember right now. Anyways, I'll put it right here, under here under the, the title. Um, here it goes. I'll show you the dark side. It just looks awesome. So right away with this font and why I kept this font on the saber, it just looked like there's some fire going on there. You know, kind of like you got this mean looking wood stove lightsaber that's just going to knock you out. Again, and I'm, the reason why I'm making these videos is because I know some people out there are just shopping around. And you like to look at stuff, you know, you want to check it out. So check it out, folks. This is a really cool looking saber. It is very menacing to the look. And that's it. Um, let's look at that a little closer. So here's the pommel. See the pommel there? The Kovacek wheel. Activation switch. And there's the emitter. Okay, cool stuff. Alright, let's get the blade in it. We never know. Yeah, what's really cool about this saber and a couple other of the saber, trio sabers that I've noticed, um, I think they're made pretty well to battle with because some of the, this is also a heavy grade blade, some of the sabers that I've had, the blade doesn't go in very far. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but this one seems to become more with the hilt because it's, I mean, there's a good uh, two inches maybe in there. Um, that's So that's pretty good compared to the other sabers that I have, that I've had. So it seems like if you're battling with it, it's going to stay in there. Yeah. Alright, so let me dim the lights. So this is the Kylo Ren. Really cool sound too. Oh, 
accidentally activated the spectrum because I pressed the activation button. Um, and the... Oh, see, so I can change the colors. Did this on accident, folks. And you can change the colors of your blade through spectrum. And that's activated by touching the activation switch and the... Um, I forgot what this is called in the bottom, but the switch on the bottom of the hilt. Uh, the cool thing is that you're not really going to mess it up because... So, if you change the blade profiles, whether it's the color or the way that it's fl flickering, um, for that moment it's going to stay. So, see it's green, right? It stayed. But if I go back in and I look at the other fonts, Sound effects Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Hoth. So there's Hoth, but I'm not going to really use it right now. Sound effects Kylo Ren. There's Kylo Ren. So I'm switch. I'm choosing it again. All right. So you're never really going to lose that. I was always scared, like, oh my gosh, what did I do? I'm going to mess it up. But the really cool thing about that is if you do want to change the blade profile and the color, um, you can do that permanently, but you have to go onto the computer and do that. But if you're just fooling around with it and you want to kind of just play with it, you're not going to lose anything. So that's the default sound fonts are already built in with all of their features and you're not going to lose that. So that's really cool. Um, just thought I'd mention that. So there's the Vulcan Dark Edition. All right, so the next lightsaber from Sabre Trio that I purchased was the Sabre Trio Sensa. Now this is a really cool saber and upon looking at it I wanted to know what it would look like with the black shroud. I mean this is the, um, so let's just show it really quick. Here it is. Alright so this is a really cool looking saber and on the website the emitter shroud because I got the mirrored version was also mirrored but I thought what would it look like if I got a black shroud so saber trio guess what I just made a request to them and they were so awesome to honor it so this is the mirrored sensa with the black emitter shroud and I just think it looks so much better that way that's just that's just me so let's get a little close up here there's a black emitter shroud got the red activation switch but this is just a really awesome saber and one of the things right off the bat, with that pommel. So one of the things right off the bat that I noticed about the saber, it's it's got a good double choke on it. So if you're looking for a saber from Saber Trio, where it's really comfortable with two hands, because you know, like the Vectra, I mean, you could. It's not as comfortable. You could. You could still use it as a single saber. Uh, my Aaron, you could as well, but you could, you know, single-handed saber. And the same with the Vulcan. The Vulcan actually is all right too. I mean, you can still get a double choke up on that saber, but this one, the Senza, uh, it's just definitely more comfortable for that two-handed saber um, grip. Pretty cool stuff. So the thing about this saber, you know, another thing that I'm learning too, um, oh, let me just show you. Because on my Vectra, you know, I got the activation switch that lit up. So you can kind of see that lit activation switch. This is gold with the, with the light up. Um, it's the gold light up activation switch. And so I think it's cool. For some reason, I'm starting to like lightsabers that don't have the light up activation switch. I think you can appreciate the hilt a little bit more. And sometimes, it, 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 for me, it distracts a little bit. I think it's still a cool feature. I mean, I have a couple sabers with it on it. But I'm kind of liking the sabers without it. I mean... And this red switch, they don't have a light up red switch option, but that's okay. It just looks really sweet. Um, so when I light this one up, you, like your father, are now mine. So this is a Syndicate Custom Relics font again by Preston Bannister. This one is called Dark Jedi. Dark side of the force is a pathway 
So it's got some really cool stuff on there. You can activate some music, and I did that by holding down the activation button for like two seconds. Okay, so this was a little bit of a learning curve for me, just to let you know here. Um, I know we have this button in the back. What is it called? I'm gonna figure out what this is called right now. Be right back. All right, so it's called the auxiliary switch. So in the back of these Saber Trio Sabers, you are going to see this button and it's called the auxiliary switch. So that's how you can sift and uh, go through all of your sound fonts. You can activate some features. Um, again, this is a, a Syndicate custom relic font by Preston Bannister called Dark Jedi. So let's hit the activation switch here. Sorry, the um, auxiliary switch. Sound bank selection. Dark Jedi. Okay. And we'll press the activation button to select it. I am the father. So then I've learned if you come back to the auxiliary switch and you want to hold that for two seconds. It'll, keep, it'll give you options sometimes on your fonts of what's available for it to say. I am the father. So that's a really cool sound font. Now, I'm still learning here on what... So if I hold this down for two seconds here... There is a way I activated some other features. I haven't figured it out yet. I mean, the auxiliary switch for sure. So there's a way to activate Palpatine, and I just haven't figured it out. Alright, so... One thing about the Saber, it doesn't have any windows, which is, which is okay, that's pretty cool. You can just hear that dark Jedi font as well. That's so awesome. All right, let's get the blade in. I think with this one, it has two screws that you can... So there's the blade plug. Again, this one also had the dark blade plug in it with the brass. Yep. Pretty nice, R2. You're right. Yeah. All right, let's get the blade in. Yeah, let's tighten it up. Yeah. You tell him, R2. <laughs> okay, so let's do this again. Dark Jedi. Sound effect selection. Dark Jedi. Actually, you can switch to it. Let's see, what happens. Let's see if that changes it up. Dark Jedi. Ancient integration. Cybernetic revolution. So that's another font I'm going to show you right after this, but let's get to the, back to the Dark, dark Jedi. Ancient integration. Dark Jedi. You, like your father, are now mine. See? So maybe it's just random. I'm not sure. I don't know if there's a way you can choose Palpatine or Vader. Maybe it just happens on its own, but let me press this again for... 
Let's see what happens. Like your father. So. So I think it just may cycle. Uh, Preston, I don't know if you want to uh, comment in this video and tell us, is it just kind of random whether Vader or Palpatine shows up? Let's try it again. You, like your okay. father, I know mine. All right, so here's Dark Jedi. So I changed the color on this one because I think the Dark Jedi originally was green and yellow, kind of like the ancient one. But because the saber um, is more dark side saber to me, I wanted it to be kind of like that fire red and yellow. I just learned how to do that on YouTube. So you can kind of see it. Let me make it a little darker here. Kind of see it flame out a little bit at the end. There you go. Maybe at the end of this, I'll get a little uh, some saber action because you know it's always kind of hard in this office to kind of swing the sabers around. I'm always afraid I'm gonna hit something and break it. I think I've knocked R2 down before. He didn't, he didn't like that too much. But anyways, um, so yeah, that, that's my Dark Jedi font by Syndicate Custom Relics. And um, pretty awesome. All right, so I wanted to show you something else with this saber. Um, because it doesn't have any windows, the really cool thing about this um, saber is that, and again, this is the Saber Trio Senza. Um, you may not have windows on, on the hilt, but you got them on the shroud, so check this out. The dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. Some really cool stuff. Let's get some focus here. Let me get some more light and maybe you can see this a little better here. See, I even noticed right now this font. It's got some. Uh, so you can see how it's coming out of the, the shroud. Okay, the saber's just talking to me now. You guys can hear that, but there's stuff playing on in the background. That is freaking awesome. It's kind of like you could be battling and playing, you know, with your saber, and I could be battling with my son. It's kind of like all this stuff going on in your brain, like your subconscious is speaking out loud. Anyways.
All right, you guys, that's so awesome. Um, you guys are gonna have to check out Syndicate Custom Relics and all the fonts because there's stuff built into the, into these fonts that I don't even know about yet, and I'm still learning. Um, this is a CFX saber. I think with my Profi saber, maybe I'd be able to unleash a little bit more. I don't know. I'm still learning, so I'll have to talk with uh, Mr. Bannister on that. All right, so there is another font that um, I got. And again, this guy is really awesome. And there was a little difficulty when I first purchased this, these fonts. Um, let's just say there was a little technical difficulty and he fixed it. And for the trouble, he gave me a free font, which was really awesome. I'm like, hey man, you didn't need to do that, but that's really cool. So it shows already what kind of customer service you can expect from Syndicate Custom Relics. Um, so this one, I think it's called Cybernetic Revolution. This was, he shared with me that this was his first Saber font and that this is his kind of favorite one because it's close to his heart because it was the first one he developed. So let's check it out. Sound bank selection. Dark Jedi. Nature integration. Cybernetic revolution. There it is, cybernetic revolution. So when you hold the button down, let's activate the activation switch. Okay, here we go. So again, really cool. Listen to that first. Auxiliary switch. I think it was really cool and unique that most of his fonts that I chose, they were all yellow and green, kind of like that yellow and green flame. Pretty cool stuff, right? <laughs> and there it is. Oh, I just hit the battery, so this one's still going good. Again, when you uh, have a Saber Trio Saber and you hit that button, you can uh, you just hit it once, and that's going to tell you how much battery you have. So if this is full life, I'm doing all right. Let's try this again. It's just going on its own, folks. <laughs> this is awesome. What do you think, R2? Hmm? He's speechless. That's not easy to do with that guy. Pretty cool stuff, you guys. So you're... Whew. It's shutting down. Oh, it's just kind of like in a ready... Uh, hey, I am standby mode. I'm just ready now. All right, so let's turn this one off. All right, so one of the last things I want to do here is go through the Saber Trio fonts that come with your Saber right out of the factory. So um, I haven't done that before. I didn't really know all the names, to be honest with you. Some of times, sometimes when you listen to what it's trying to say, you're like, what does it say? Um, so yeah. <laughs> all right, so I kind of figured it out. I got a list here and I wanted to go through just to show you the blade colors and profiles and the sounds. And um, there may be more than what I'm showing you, but let's, let's do it. All right, so the first one. Sound bank selection. <laughs> Called Saber Trio. I'm taking it. This is their font. Exit menu. Whoop. <laughs> okay, so 
Again, auxiliary switch in the back is going to, uh, that's how you scroll through the fonts and activation switch is what I use to lock it down. It's a Saber Trio. All right, so it's blue. Okay, really cool looking blue color, light blue. You can kind of see the color a little bit on the And the auxiliary switch. Sounds. There's a sound for that swing. All right, there's one. Saber tree. What's next? Sound bank selection. I don't know what that says. That's one of the ones I need to figure out. It sounds like it says Mars Edition, but I don't know. So it's red, obviously. So smooth thing is pretty awesome. Sometimes when I do this, you can see the color a little better. And you can see when you press the auxiliary switch, you get these blade effects. It's like the blaster is hitting your blade. And I do notice that if you hit the auxiliary switch and you tap something at the same time, you kind of get that um, when you're hitting metal or... Whoop! I don't want Spectrum. I did it on accident! So you get like this little... at the end like you're trying to drag it against the metal. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Next one, what's next? Sound bank selection. Light. The light. Blue again. Can you see that color blue? I think this is Ray Saber. Okay, let's go to the next one. Sound bank selection. Light. The balance. The balance. Light. Whoop. The balance. Now that's green. Obviously you can tell that sounds a lot like Luke Skywalker. Next font, now you have... Sound bank selection. The balance. Darkness. Darkness. The balance. Wait. Darkness. I don't know who this is, but I'm going to guess that it's Dark Ray. So you can see that. Red color. Red color there. All right, next. Sound bank selection. Darkness. Vengeance. Vengeance. And I'm guessing this is Darth Vader. I'm not sure, but that's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> you are beaten. Anyways, red. So all of these sabers so far, the light, the balance, dark, vengeance, and cross guard, um, they're all by Kaseth.
Okay, next. We have... Sound bank selection. Vengeance. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, I wonder who that is. What color is this going to be? All right, so this one, you also get like kind of that unstable blade effect. Sounds really cool. Oh. I notice when if you, I can't do it in here, but if you swing it really hard, well maybe I can. You can actually hear a little bit more of aggressive of that smooth swing. So. There you go. That's pretty cool, right? All right, so that's Kylo Ren. It's actually called Cross Guard by K um, Sith, but you know, so that's Kylo Ren. Sound bank selection. Kylo Ren. Hoth, Genesis Custom Sabers. Rob uh, made this sound for it. This one is really cool. Some. Well, let me just start it up. It's that light blue, kind of like this Empire Strikes Back blue. And you can kind of hear like wind and ice cold wind from the planet Hoth. Ooh. I think I featured this before in my last video, but you can hear a probe droid. And sometimes you can hear a tauntaun. I'll hold this down for two seconds. Let me see if it does it. It may not do it. No, so sometimes when you start this up, you'll hear a tauntaun. Yeah, it's not doing it right now, but let's move on. Sound bank selection. That's Hoth. Here's another Genesis Custom Saber. Font. Shatterpoint. This party's over. Oh, who do you think that is? You can see purple. I don't know if it looks purple. It looks kind of white on the camera, but... Sorry, hit the camera. But it's a light purple. Light purple blade. So. Alright, cool stuff. Next. Sound bank selection. Shoto. Oh, that's my battery, sorry. It's a yellow. Got a really unique sound too. Next. Sound bank selection. This is General Kenobi. So General Kenobi, it's called Negotiator by Forzel. Oh. This is General Kenobi. Surely we can be civilized about this. Hello there. Hello there. You can't win. Let the negotiations begin. So really cool looking blue. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's got a little bit of Obi-Wan ego there. Um, next one. Sound bank selection. This is General Kenobi. Crystal Focus. Crystal Focus. By Link, I think. So this was pretty unique. An orange blade. Cool. That 
one's got a nice little growl to it too. There you go. All right, next one. Sound bank selection. Crystal focus. Nebula. Nebula. Ooh. That one's got a really cool sound. It's got almost a musical sound to it. Interesting. Next. Sound bank selection. Nebula. Gray meat. Gray meat by Sekrog, I think. Nebula. Oh, go back. Gray meat. Oh, we gotta start that again. So this is really cool because not all blades ignite the same. So this is a yellow blade. You can see it through there. Yellow color. So again, I also notice that with some of these spots, you have to swing a lot harder to get... So if I just do this light, you don't really hear that much of a smooth swing, but if you do it hard... So you put some elbow behind it, then you're going to get it. That's just built into the font. Alright, next. Sound bank selection. Ready? So, Forced Unleashed 2 Camino. This is really kind of cool because you can hear the rain. So I don't know if this is when Obi-Wan was fighting Jango Fett. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. Clone Wars, maybe. There you go, that's pretty cool. Next. Sound bank selection. Old Republic Crucible. So this is kind of like a mint green. Kind of very light. Another one of those saber fonts that you have to kind of swing kind of hard. And stuff happens. Yeah, you have to swing it. <laughs> I'm not going to swing it that hard in this office because I'm going to break something. So, uh... Alright, so you got kind of that mint green... Saber blade. What's next? We're almost done. Sound bank selection. The Old Republic Malign. Old Republic Malign. Let's see what this is. Do I have to kill you to get you to stop talking? So if you guys know who that is, please put it in the comments because I don't. Old Republic Malign. Another one of the fonts where you have to really kind of swing. So you have to swing kind of hard to get that smooth swing. See, just regular, but... So some fonts you can just barely do anything, and some fonts you have to swing hard. Let me know in the comments if you know who that was. 
sound bank selection. Nightfall. Nightfall. Ooh, that's really cool. Let's see it again. Look at how this saber ignites. So again, not a really you know, easy going smooth swing sound, but you put some muscle into it, there it is. Oh, that's really cool. All right, everybody, thank you for watching another Let's Go video. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, if you're looking for a, a lightsaber company that you can really trust and not really have any regrets, Saber Trio all the way. I have now four sabers from them and not one complaint. They get a full saber rating from Let's Go. Definitely the best value and quality for the money, no doubt. But other than that, I hope you all have a great May 4th. Grow a mustache, have some fun. You know, um, we'll see you on the next Let's Go video.